Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the second part of programming with spot.next uh, for A32NX fly by wire sim. So today we're going to talk about several uh, settings for lighting and ecam. Okay, ecam page uh, and lighting. Lighting we have several uh, area. First of all is overhead uh, integrated lighting here. This one and then of course this uh, PFD and ND uh, brightness here for the pilot flying and then uh, first officer here on the right side and also for FCU uh, this one and uh, this ECAM lower ECAM and upper ECAM uh, brightness uh, and float light, integrated light, and float light, uh, this one, okay? Um, that is mostly the one that we have to adjust. There are several things like this, make do brightness here, but I rarely touch this one, so I didn't program it. You can program it to the POS keyboard, but yeah, this one I didn't yet uh, program it. Before we start, uh, one of the important document is again coming from the API from Flight Deck uh, or A3 to NX API here. As you can see, there's several lighting here that we can choose for interior. We select light lighting knobs. This is glare sheet, the one that in the FCU glare shield, and table light. Uh, this one is not used, uh, and then going down instrument lighting control so this for pfd and d uh, there's uh, related light potentiometer uh, variables that you need to change this number 88 89 just have to remember this one and console floor captain uh, console floor uh, first officer uh, what else here we're going down again uh, lighting pedestal so those lighting in the pedestal area uh, you can see here float light integrated light float light first officer so float light for captain and float light for in, uh, integrated the whole uh, panels and first officer float light so there are several light here that you can change and mostly related to light potentiometer uh, 83 85 so, so you have to just recall this number uh, which uh, number this relate to okay so that is the source of documents so let's go to uh, spot.next so here's spot.next and I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna program in okay so I'm gonna program this lighting into this uh, Trustmaster Kogar so here you can see this button here top left the rocker push button is for PFD or this panel okay basically this light and then going down these two buttons up and down is for navigation display here the left upper ecam this one uh, this two button and lower ecam uh, up and down this rocker but push button this one and FCU display uh, basically this one uh, this one I think Oh, uh, this one backlit and this one is display is taken and overhead for the overhead uh, light up and down main panel light so the I think this one there yeah. uh, up and down and float light uh, I think this should be this one and main main float light this is main panel uh, uh, let light this one integrated and uh, flight float light here for pedestal okay so this up and down also this rocker uh, there is here one actually for first officer and another one first officer here so I create an on and off so they are only gonna switch on and off meaning uh, off like this dark okay so to show you on how it was changed in in this one we're gonna let's say uh let's do battery okay 
uh, and then we have to switch off APU first because we're gonna use APU to switch on several light actually okay so we're not gonna use the overhead panel just use my mouse once the APU on we're gonna try to start the switching of the light so before that um, we're gonna prepare the spot out next uh, so you can see how okay so in spot dot next because i'm gonna change this one i'm gonna go to controller here and then this one as the left this one if the right so for the right i'm programming uh, uh this one as you see this button here the engine uh, bleed uh, let's call it here uh, pressure, electrical, hydraulic fuel, APU, con uh, air conditioning, DAR, uh, wheel, fl flight control, all, TEO config, you know, uh, in the, uh, and also clear status, recall, and etc. So this button actually program also in the, in the COGAR, okay? So basically this right one is for this ECAM button, okay? Uh, I think let's do uh, put it up here. So let me put it up here so it's kind of you can see the changes. Uh, okay, so let's like it like this. So 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 you can see it easily. Okay, so uh, first of all, the light. So this one the pfd1 so you can see here the pfd1 is here and you can see it's rotating uh, down up yeah so it's number 27 and 27 uh, two is increment uh, and 28 is decrement okay now what I tried to set is this is uh, potential light potentiometer 88 meaning that this one is for PFD one yeah you can see uh, PFD left now I'm what I did is actually create two buttons one is button press and one is long so for button press uh, what happened is that I will decrease by five or increase by five okay so each time i push uh, two different button uh, this one up and down decrease increase by five so the maximum is 100 right so if i long press this button meaning going i long press the up button it will set into maximum 100 so so what i can do is just push this one hold this one and it will set into maximum so it's easier for me to let's say in the daylight you want to set the light rather than push several times this button you just long press this up or long press down so it's either off or long press up it's going to be set into maximum so either way if it's a long press it's going to be maximum or minimum but let's say you want to, oh this is too bright and then you can just uh, push down and you lower by five until it's basically off also right so you can do the slow one which is just do several tap into the button or you can long press the button and yep it's set maximum one of the cuff uh, issue though uh, you can see I set minimum but it doesn't move, move into minimum so just use click up a bit and it will go down to the right condition so let's say this one uh, which is ND uh, let me push maximum so it will set maximum however this indicator here is not even move so I just need to tick one up uh, oh sorry one down uh, it will show the maximum and going back to the maximum so it's just to trigger it to follow the the maximum numbers I don't know why it's uh, it's not following directly but if you do it slowly step by step increment decrement by five it will follow Remember, you see this it's going down going up so it's rotating the this uh, this button graphic right 
But if it's, you put it minimum low, it doesn't move. But just tick a bit up and down again, it will stay true on the right position. So that's it. So this is 88 for this one. And I think uh, for the first officer, I just press this uh, once. It just set into 50%. Okay. So here the command is just set the light for 50%. Okay, and nine, uh, this two is set to 50%. So I just quickly set them to 50%, or you can uh, click this opposite button here, the middle one. So they're gonna off. Okay, so I can just quickly turn it on or turn it off. Uh, that's how. Uh, so eight is the off. Uh, I think 90, 18 is the on. So eight is off. Uh, 18 is on okay for this too similarly with others you can uh, basically uh, how do you call it let's close the external light uh, external um, power sorry so for the other uh, ecam for example i can just do the same it is this button here upper ecam to this button is upper uh, rocker uh, uh, the lower rocker push button is lower ecam so similarly I can just press this button here and it will set to maximum or press it will set to minimum okay so maximum so then I can try to rotate or adjust if it's too bright you can just uh, decrease by 5 increase by 5 okay this one is for upper ecam uh, this button here, if it's long press, it's going to set lower ecam. Uh, it doesn't move, but then if you trigger it, it will move to the right uh, position, and then you can decrease uh, as you wish. If it's too bright, usually in the morning or in the evening, you don't want to be uh, set into maximum. Daylight usually need maximum. Similarly, this one is FCU backlit. If you can see, uh, this one is will rotate see the backlit is this one sorry so this one oh sorry the backlit is this one so you can reduce the backlit if you want to this numbering will not light up or minimum for example or maximum during uh, night timers for this one the this display will be brightened into maximum let's see okay so it's very bright but you can decrease it uh, this button rotating button here you can see to decrease or increase uh, by five uh, that is this number I don't want to tell you which uh, number 87 is to what but you can check uh, the document here again uh, there's a lot of uh, kind of code here 83 85 76 which light is supposed to adjust so basically you are editing directly to value here is a uh, value not an event so you can change the value here uh, sorry uh, edit uh, so basically it's a value here uh, this one is this as you can see 70 percent because I already adjusted 87 so this is value you can increment 5 or, dec or decrement 5 okay uh, that's it and for setting the maximum because very simple you can set light rather than increment you can set light and just set 100 or set zero to to turn it off okay uh, that is for the light I hope you can follow uh, the other one which is the this side the MFD2 uh, for this one uh, let's say engine you can say engine here and this one is this one engine is send this one in is the event so basically an event uh, so send uh, a 3 to a 20 neo ecos to a cam a cam change page engine okay so basically it's the event so there's a lot of event here bleed condition and door electrical fret control fuel so you can uh, 
yeah map this whole thing from here even the i forgot uh, there's a status a recall also available thing down there i forgot which one but anyway so that's available every uh, comment here so you can see here for example if i i do re put recall in here so recall and status so you see this status and recall have to press uh, three minutes for example this 19 is press uh, recall press and this one is page status okay page status as you can see it's and clear also uh, I put it here downward uh, this is and uh, press clear delay 200 millisecond and release so this thing is uh, uh, you have to button clear press and button clear release I think it has to be like this I don't know I, I forgot I where I did I find this but delay execution for 200 millisecond and then release so that is how you clear the page and let's say there's some error or you know uh, there's some uh, problem with and then you there's a kind of warning here and you want to clear it you have to press clear right so this is how you press the clear I put it down here as a clear button okay uh, the other one is takeoff config so the takeoff config I put it here pressing upward so if you want to press takeoff config you just press this upward and take off takeoff config uh, button is pressed here the takeoff config in number 21 you can see send at 320 and x button tail config press and delay 200 millisecond and release so that's how to press several function here uh, i think that's it yeah so that's how you map this area here i didn't map this one because in normal flight i rarely change this one it's possibly if there is some problem in one side or the other side you want to transfer from normal to captain side or first officer side for uh, uh, TGU hitting air data uh, and other okay a cam so you can select the source from I think from 3 FMGC right or main computer I guess basically for the flight so you can select captain side uh, FO side or normal okay so that's how uh, you select this but I don't use this okay uh, what else I think that's mostly this part area has been programmed uh, and we can move to part 3 uh, on the honeycomb bravo